information on a story we also brought you as breaking news yesterday. Two people now under arrest accused of beating a man to death in Hartford on Monday. The victim, 38-year-old Antonio Tosado Lopez, was found on Park Street. Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief A. Galal was in the courtroom today where the suspects appeared before a judge for the very first time in this case. Aya. Hi, Aaron and Mark. And both Jaquan Davis and Colin Campbell are facing murder charges. They're accused of beating a man to death. And we've been combing through court paperwork today, which paints a clearer picture of what exactly unfolded. And tonight we're learning that killing was captured on surveillance footage. Tonight, two men are behind bars accused of killing 38-year-old Antonio Tosado Lopez of Hartford. His body was found unconscious Tuesday in the area of 700 Park Street, where there has been an uptick in violence in the last week. The two suspects have been identified as 32-year-old Jaquan Davis and 35-year-old Colin Campbell. Both have been charged with murder and conspiracy to commit murder. Investigators believe the two physically attacked the victim, ultimately killing Tosado Lopez. Davis told police he was at a nightclub with Campbell when his girlfriend called and said someone was trying to break into their home. Campbell drove Davis home. Davis says he came across Tosado Lopez, who tried to hit him, and then Davis threw him down the stairs. An arrest warrant says during the initial assault, the affiance counted 10 closed fist strikes, three strikes with the bottom of his foot and shoe, stomping type strike, and one more closed fist strike. Both suspects have criminal backgrounds and were arraigned at Hartford Superior Court today. A public defender speaking on behalf of Davis. As you know, nothing is black and white, and there are definitely some unanswered questions in this matter. It appears that someone was attempting to break into his home in the middle of the night where his girlfriend was alone. An attorney for Colin Campbell arguing his client was not the initial aggressor. If one is to believe everything in this warrant, um, he certainly didn't start this, this argument or assault or whatever it could be called. The judge refused to lower the bond, keeping it at one and a half million dollars for both suspects. The cause of death was particularly brutal. And this marks the city's 31st homicide so far this year. Both suspects are due back in court on October 27th. Again, surveillance footage is going to be key in this investigation. Reporting live in Hartford, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.